Son. Son. Momentary distraction. Season of bugs. Sun.
son. Well, he made it closer to space. Timed escape sequence is novel. A lot could happen. All right. Good. What else would the cliff be for? <laughs> the answer couldn't just be walk back to the roots and leave the normal way. I was not expecting Sun to go down in one more attempt. Alright, guess I had him downloaded.
So when did the costumes unlock? Was it part of the escape, or had they popped open sooner than that? Because I get somehow I did have that box open. No, it's the end now. I can just go back and look things up. We pull back the curtains, see all the gears. Not a great final boss. turn in the whole final sequence. Naturally. The adventure continues. Sixty-three hours. And just one nudge. Deep in there. Otherwise, mostly cleared on its own terms. You may straighten the leg. Alright, so for the most part, vastly improved over Mulana 1 remade. Movement is much more satisfying. A lot of boss fights were still designed around the limits of your ability to move? I think a bit less egregiously so. Puzzles. Well, a lot of Milana puzzles aren't so much puzzles as they are tasks. Obfuscated tasks. There's not a reasoning you need to apply in order to synthesize new information. You just need to figure out which of these slabs is the instruction manual for the thing you are approaching. That's not a bad thing. It can work. And I think it is illustrative that like the two or th all right, so yeah, three. Way back at the start, there was look away from your desires in order to get the ability to shove cubes. 
That one was just bad. That was, all right, they set up the amount of time needed to look away to very easily give a false negative of, no, it's, it's not just that. Big Rock, though. Big Rock and the Seven Gates. Both of those, in the process of getting frustrated around them, all of the, like, loose threads and unanswered questions kind of led back in the direction of, no, this actually has to be addressed. The Rock is bad and a disappointment that ah, they actually actively patched out clever responses for how to solve the riddle of Big Rock. The correct action of The Rock was bad. The fact that I could look at all of my notes about the scenario and see that there was a chain of cause and effect that led back to The Rock that was good. But it, like, one of the biggest sources of, like, getting stalled and stonewalled in this is when there's ambiguity about which of these things comes before another. Big Rock was not an instance of that. Once all the pieces were in place for, like, the scales and Amnit and the feather and so forth, there was a big chain of things that could rapidly be done once they all clearly pointed back to Big Rock. And from there, the rock fell. And Big Rock was conquered. Lunar Breastplate, though. That's unforgivable. I would have to wonder what that hint, what wording that hint uses to refer to the fibula in the original script. That it got mangled in the translation. Yeah, the audience has, you have returned from the void and you are, you are being read and looked upon again. The leg is straightened. Stand in victory. Okay, yeah, brooch or, yeah, word meaning, like, decorative bangle or clasp. Yeah, that would describe what the Gale Fibula is. The moon half of it is still confusing. There's nothing moonish about it. Unless it also was named moon something in the original and they changed the name of the fibula in English. In which case, it would compound the fact that, no, you've you've created a version of this game in which an important hint is just a lie outright. And that's just bad. Of all the things you could adjust in a patch, correcting that translation error is one of them that should happen. Because otherwise it took many hours of smashing face against wall in order to let's not have the uh, the title screen looping while I engage in up to an hour and a half of post-mortem yammering about how this went yeah and all right yeah the the outfit stayed yes yeah, so you unlock those and they stick with is there a new game plus of some sort Yeah, there we go. Let her get comfortable, have a snack, lay down, relax. Okay, the, it's just that the outfit's unlocking is global. 
Yeah, so all the non-functional Valkyrie. Eh. Be it engraved. There is an explanation of why Sun's health is so weird for the uh, for the Codex life bar. I would guess it's because there's some kind some parts of him are like phases and thresholds and not actual amounts of damage. It seemed like it was what it was for the opening was just like two bullet would consistently make him advance one step further into the fight. And any excess damage was probably being wasted. On just okay, here's the checkpoints to make him add more moves. Yeah, I kind of figured when the hits weren't making noise during changes, that meant they weren't real hits. All right, yeah, the solid white health bar can mean there's many health bars stacked on top of each other. Yeah, the codex is lacking is still welcome. Any health bar, any feedback is better than none feedback in these situations. But yeah, Geeks of the Underworld. That was nearly a breaking point. Until the moment... It took a coincidence. It took the fact that I walked through enough correct gates to see it take away the fibula. And discover that the moon plate was lying. The moment that was the case, the gates of hell proceeded smoothly. With the only oddity being uh, the pillar that you shove. Which also, as far as like ranking of arbitrary tasks, that's not the worst. The pillar shove is weird and untelegraphed, but it is also the correct route, which you can be very confident is the correct route because you have, like every step of the way, there has been some kind of one way barricade that you lose the ability to traverse. So the fact that you're in a situation where you know you've been deprived of the feather by now, the answer has to be something that lets you cross the gap in one jump, something that changes the situation. Seemingly impossible task needs some kind of approach. Yeah, I, I scanned the doors and was reading the symbols off of them. Though, of, I had reason to question the symbols at times. But you still need the objects in order to have the doors count. If you enter a door and don't have the thing for it, it just kicks you out. And then, yeah, outside of those two moments, there was mostly pretty steady flow. Finding Sackett's tomb was almost as much of a wall as the others. That suffered from some ambiguities. That almost formed itself into a knot. Words of his former association. Ah, you mean like the speech of giants? No, I mean the words moon child. What else would it be? Oh yeah, and Harris Velger is blocking one of the doors that you need in order to uh, do the seven gates. 
You need to chase the squirrel. Oh yeah, this being like an earpiece that you're using to listen rather than a rather than a noisemaker to recite with. I wonder how much else of the ruins I can get to in this post-game state, actually. Let's go on a journey. While well, we're just hanging out. Yeah, there's surprisingly little, like, crumbling and screaming going on here. There's just kind of some bonus ghosts and not much else. Too many ghosts. Well. Knife, though. Come on. Give it. Knife. These doors are just open. Yeah, there we go. The regular exit is shot. You must go on an adventure. Definitely thinking I should try to go to the Primal Chaos. I should go find another costume. There's more of them. Alright, there's some addition. One of you escaped.
So this gets me to Taka? No, this is Battlefield. Battlefield close to Taka. Taka's down there. Yeah. Although I want to be at... Didn't think I'd need to get the notes back out for just fighting the boss and the uh, the end game, but well, let's see. So I want to go to Chaos. Which means I can get there from Valhalla. I should go to Divine Fortress, actually. Valhalla will take me to Ancient Chaos. And body melting heat. Try it possessed. Great. Things still drop souls, so I can recover health. And the hot springs might still be open? The ones that are inside? Carefully, gently. I can just eat some ghosts. Oh, and I did have the stone. Oh no, I have the software. I hadn't fired off yet. I could go get a fresh mug of Selma. Maybe. With how much health is just sitting around fine and normal, the Soma's probably still there. Stay hydrated. Bye. <laughs> 
are bugs about? Remain vigilant. End times are here. The more I move around, it's um, the more I like this idea of a post game reward of okay, here's the oh, right, I can't use the blood anymore. Blood is closed. How will I reach chaos then? How will I reach upper chaos? I don't think I can reach upper chaos without corridor of blood. Then how do you get that costume? Assembling the blood shape means that's all offline. When when did the costume chests unlock? They're tied to achievements. Still, I like the principle of this. Here is the entire dungeon with warps disabled. Figure it out. You can still navigate this. If you've solved the riddles. If you really understand every layer of the castle. Mosquito destroyed. In that case, I need to reach Battlefield, which means go to Anfun. Yeah, I'll just leave.
I have no idea which full title will be next. Bloodstained released a randomizer mode. That happened. The built-in shuffler. So that was, that's some good times waiting to happen. The things you could do with a shuffled hand. I like this. That's neat. Yeah, of course, the sun escaped through here and punched a giant hole in the roof. Yeah. Mulana 1 and 2 also have randomizers, which are pretty well established. They've had a couple rounds of polish into them. They might be good for a larf. Death and Terminus. End that way. Ending that way. No escape here. No, sir. None escape. Definitely don't escape by following the Terminus God to the ending. And so forth. end of day is gonna be yeah credits again let's go I feel like most of the zones had a pretty interesting look and theming going on across them Very early on, I was concerned that things would lean too much on just Norse mythology. But with the, the combination of coming into the roots, establishing the entire dungeon as a world tree, and meeting, you know, Loki and Fidafnir, and a bunch of those. There's a bunch of Norse references front-loaded in the order that you play things. But it branched out pretty quickly. And then in doing so, yeah, this one did a lot of... I like that they leaned in on... on the seven generations of beings. Well, six of them that actually live here in the ruins. And further, you know, characterized each wave. And also that they kind of interacted with each other as well. There was back and forth. There was legacy that each generation left to the ones after it. It was good to find some snake people. They're just a thing that happens in mythology. Fish children did not get to participate. You hate to see it. No one talks about the fish generation. Yes, yeah, so Alana Milana 3 must be terror from the deep, obviously. The fish need their revenge. Blub, blub. Yep, 
Yeah, the blood tube and the sky people were... Everything sky people related was a nice addition as well. Of We're doing a bunch of building on this, this gestalt mythos that is part of the Moana setting. And then, all right, here's this other faction that makes sure that you really feel that they are outsiders to this whole cycle of creation and death that is the mother and her history. That all the crystal skulls are extremely rude. Yeah, I also like that, writing-wise. Each of the crystal skull aliens is just some asshole. Just ranting. about this horrible garbage planet. <laughs> you tiny stupid creature. <laughs> what is your deal? So yeah, generally improved, still has its problems, some of which are understandably part of the package and part of the, the charm, the appeal. <laughs> These are rude. They are sassy. The end game is kind of lacking. It, it does decline a lot in the final couple of tasks. Ninth Child could have been much better for how much hype goes into Ninth Child. I take it there's a bunch of variations on these ending scenes based on, uh, whether or not you accomplish various things in the post-game, maybe also in the regular game, given that, yeah, now we have Freya there, alive. There it is, though. And the most important result of this is now I can watch other people play it blind. And experience the power <laughs> of seeing people trip and fall face first over things that I figured out. Or just casually glide through things that were barriers to me. Now, <laughs> mine is the power <laughs> of infinite rage. <laughs> Dracula. <laughs>